All right, guys. We've got a special treat for you today. Right now, we're playing Whoa Walk Club, and uh, I got downranked uh, last night because I got I got super salty. I was not recording. I was just playing, and uh, I was testing out this particular deck. New deck, new failures, new lives. Everything new. Everything good. Everything bad. Actually, this is I, I'm, I never play the deck that I'm playing right now. It's just, just don't, whoop, sorry. Just don't do it. Do not play this. It's my interpretation. Should I tell you what it is? Yeah, I will. Because you can read it in the description. It's going to be right there. It's my interpretation of a mill deck. And we're going to give this the, the, the old Spartan try, baby. We're going to make this happen. <laughs> I mean, somehow, some way, we're going to make it all right. Just not right now. And I know you're wondering when... Just relax. Just, just fucking relax. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna get the inspiration right now. I, I really want some more control in my hand, right? For, uh, like first. So this deck started while I was going through. Like, I mean, I I fought against a mill deck or someone who tried to have a mill deck and they failed utterly. It was like a mono blue, and they put every mill card in. But when you think about it, there's really only three, right? There's that counter. That, uh, I guess I'll put some damage on the board. Why not? There's that counter that uh, makes them drop uh, four, I think, into their graveyard. There's that uh, sorcery or instant that drops seven, and then you can cast an instant or sorcery from their library, or like maybe two of them sometimes. And then there's that enchantment, which uh, every time you draw a card, they drop two. Now, of those, I'm completely convinced that the enchantment is the way to go. Like, I'm totally convinced of that. I'm not going to spend anything on this mirror. I can kill it with my creature. Hmm. Yep. I'm going to I'm gonna just draw him. I'm going to pick him up. Let's see what we got. Um, you know what? I want them both. Let's do it. Give them both to me, baby. And I'll even put down the swamp. Uh, once we get six lands, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about Mol molten vortex. That might, that's o almost strictly in here for creature removal. But I don't know how I feel about it just yet, so I might not want him. Uh, so yeah, the enchantment was really the only one that did a lot of work. Like the others, uh, unless you can get some recursion and put them back into your hand, they just don't really do a lot. I mean, the thing where you cast from their grave, from their uh, library. That's at most, what, 14 cards? And that's if you see them both? I mean, that is a significant chunk, but I can get a lot more out of a couple of uh, Sphinxes. I'm going to do that on uh, his end step, of course. I like the amount of control I have. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, Molten Vortex right now. Just, I mean, I don't have any lands, but I, I, I like just having it out. <laughs> and you know what? If he has, like, a Reclamation Sage or something, he can, he can probably pop this as opposed to anything else. Reeve Soul. Alright, so we're both getting cards. Yeah, I guess I will. I will pop it now. I don't have all that shit I do, so I just did three damage of that thing. That sucks. Oh well. But at least this way I can inspiration. So yeah, and the counters, they just, they didn't, they didn't like really strike me. They're all forecast, you know, and they're going to eat up a lot of turns. It's just, it's a lot of investment for something that, yeah, see, that's what I would have liked to have the, uh, the last thing I had for, whatever. My, uh, fire impulse would have been nice on that, so I, maybe I should have done the twin bolt instead. Oh, well, what I can do, let's see what I can do. So what, I need three open? I mean, I do have another fiery impulse, so who cares, right? Uh, sure, don't mind if I do. Should I do this now? Do you think he can kill a creature in response? Hmm. You, you know what, I... 
I don't know if he can instant speed kill something, so I'm just going to pop this right now because I'm a little scared. I just don't know, man. He could. I don't think he has the, the colors for it, though. I guess... I don't know. I don't know what he could have done. Oh, so he's just going to get that right back, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. Thankfully, I have ways of dealing with her. <laughs> So yeah, this this deck is pretty much based entirely around um, Sphinx's tutelage, the uh, the three drop blue enchantment that mills your opponent. Everything else in the deck is essentially control. It's it's just trying to control the board in whatever desperate way we can. <clears throat> uh, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with everything I have. I can do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Uh, actually, that's not true. I can do 12 damage. Right? No, I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm thinking about popping these guys, but it's a trick. What? Fuck, fuck me, man. Fuck me. Alright, sack of Creech. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this fucker right now. And it's gonna be... The blue. Oh, damn it. It should've been the red. Or black. Whatever. Fine. Fine. I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage to this guy, but I guess I should. I mean, if he has nothing on the board, I don't think green-black has anything with haste. He does have a Liliana on his hand. That much we should remember. Should I just pop her ass right now? I don't want to. Oh, shit. Fuck. Does this still work? I don't know if this works right now. I don't know if this works. Is this just going to be an embarrassing disaster? He gets the card, I think. Yeah, no matter what, he gets the card. But does she flip? Does she flip? Nope. Alright. Good. Yeah, that's fine. That, I understand. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing this. Uh, Fiery Impulse is great. And another Swamp. Um, actually, I'd rather dig a little more. I, I think I'm good for lands at this moment. Um, fine, I'll take another, I'll take another Perilous Mirror. So, I mean, this is just a complete 100% control deck with uh, three mill cards in it. So I just keep digging until I get the fucking mill cards. And uh, up until then, I, I just try to keep as much board control as possible. And that's why these uh, Perilous Mirror here, they're not here to, to win me any games. Well, this kind of sucks, but he's taking three, uh, excuse me, <laughs> six damage. So he's at 11. I'm at 12. I like his deck. It's not that shitty Golgari Elves deck. It's just, uh... It's just a nice Golgari deck. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. I like this. I like his deck a lot. Wackle up. You know how to make one, baby. He is digging hard. Which works for me. It, it does. Because as long as I can take care of all of his creatures, uh, the more he digs through his deck, the better. What just happened here? Am I just waiting on him? Yeah, okay. I thought it froze up a bit. Jesus, man. Um, I mean, I have my six lands. I only have one blue source, which kind of sucks, but I don't think I have any double blue. No, I don't. So, I'm just going to keep it in hand just in case. I don't really... I'm not too, too worried about anything. At this point, I've got decent control... I mean, I'm not taking any damage today, baby. Sorry. What do you got for me? Oh, you're going to sack him? That's fine. I have those black kill spells. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good for me. Oh, not now. Although I can kill it. But it would take two cards to do it. Or the land. Should I do that now? Or should I wait to see what I have? Let's wait to see what I get. 
Because I don't really want to drop two cards on this guy. Uh, this guy's playing real well. I love this. Guy's Revenge. That is going to be a major problem. The only way I can really stop that is with my mirror. Yeah, so actually I will be... That's fine. Wow, there is something happening outside, you guys. Don't know what. Yeah, he, w once that evolutionary reap or leap came down, I'm I, I got I got this got hard. And you know, you know, drawing infinite lands in a row, I went through half my deck. And I, and I have three of these cards. Not a single one of them showed up today. So that's kind of poops. That's, that's big old poops. And there's nothing I can do about this one. I'm just fucked here. Oh, this sucks, guys. Well, uh, I think I just lost. <laughs> there's very little I can do right here. This guy has a lovely, lovely deck. I really like it a lot. It's super fun. A little slow, but it definitely... I mean, it's slow in terms of, like... Because the meta right now is just full of ramp cards. Not ramp cards. What the hell am I saying? Rush, Rushy rush fucks. Yeah, that's not going to help me. All right, good game to my opponent. Uh, they totally got me. Let's get into this next one here. See if we can do uh, a little better. I mean, it's probably not going to happen. All right, honestly, it's a fucking mill deck, for God's sakes. And, I mean, if they play green... We're definitely in trouble because there's two cards in green that are that really screw us over the uh, the uh, hex proof hunt beast and guy's revenge. Those are just they're really tough. The only thing I can do with those is just chump them down. But uh, if they play uh, that stupid little uh, any any of those boros decks, I, I have a much better chance as long as I have my control early. Those little red whites, those little even the red black decks. I do pretty damn well on uh, the flyers, the white, blue. I, I I do okay with those because sometimes those flyers are a little heavy in the ass and they're actually kind of hard to take out of the take out of the air. And I can't rely on my mirror to chump them down, so I need removal for my mirror and them. It's just, it's kind of a mess. So uh, yeah, just waiting for players to join the match. No problem, right? <laughs> of course, no problem. We'll just wait uh, three thousand years for the next match. Because I love waiting. And so do you. Let's do it, do it, do it. Come on. I mean, you're saying... like, Because once you get waiting for other players, in that interim time, if somebody else makes a match... I mean, theoretically, they should come into your match, right? But if they don't, and I feel like a lot of the times they don't, they're also waiting for players to join the match. So you just cancel this and then try to jump into their match. That, like that. Exactly like what just happened. Now I'm going into their match. So what the hell? How come they didn't come into my match? It's just, it's, it's goofy is what I'm trying to say. It's an interesting matchmaking system. And in theory, it should work way better than the last one. But uh, there's just some connection problems here and there. I'm not really sure what's up. Maybe it's on my end. You think that? Maybe maybe it's just like I'm trying to join them and I'm... Yeah, fuck this. I don't know, man. In interesting choices. Anyway, so um, mill decks, generally, like, I don't think there's ever really been a really good mill deck in all of the Duels of the Planeswalker series. And I guess this isn't technically Duels of the Planeswalker series, even though it... Come give me a freaking break. Of course it is. So, uh, I don't think there's ever really been a good one. So, whenever you try to make one, it's, yeah, it's cringy. It's, it's like, because if you go up against, like, I'm not going to say a pro player, but a good player, they're going to see it, and they're, they're like, there's going to be a part of them where they're chuckling. They're like, <laughs> really? That, that's what you're playing? Really? Good luck, buddy. But, um, I, I don't know. I hope... I hope I can get one win in here. I have gotten wins, not against a human player though. I've never human. I've never milled a human player. It's always been the computers. Oh boy, 
You know, I got my win condition in hand. I don't know what he's playing. He's on the fucking play, like always. God damn it. Why are they always on the play? This really is so aggravating. Alright, this is kind of a conundrum. Uh, I want that red out, but I need the blue out. Fuck it. That's where I'm going. I don't, I don't really like playing these like that, but I, I really want this red out now. Because if I went red and then this, it would be tapped and I wouldn't have my twin bolt open for his fucking star you, or star me, whatever. His, his, his little scry card, which might have a place in this deck, I don't know. I Maybe it might, it might not, I, who cares. Okay, next turn will be uh, Sphinx's Tutelage, followed by an Inspiration, unless he puts something a little scary down. That's not that scary. But uh, Sphinx's Tutelage is definitely coming down before I put down a Twin Bolt on that guy's face. Because he will discard, or from his <clears throat> thingy-dingy there two cards because of this guy. So he'll draw one, but lose two. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You know what this does, dude. You've just never seen it played against you. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Usually you do that on the end step, but he saw me put down a land, and he knows like, I'm pretty much tapped out, so... Good time to do it. I, I, oh, quad boxes? Quad boxes. Have I played you before? I think I remember playing you. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's someone else, and you just went down rank big time. Because I remember last time I played someone with this name. It's not actually this name. This just means that the characters aren't showing up. Why would you swing with this? You can't... Why'd you do that? Now you can't scry. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's not the best move there, man. Okay. Um... Okay, so here are my options. I can't. I, it's probably going to be Twin Bolt. Who am I kidding? And it's going to be a Twin Bolt on... Mm, let's say his attack step, in the hopes that he drops... He plays out pre-combat. If he's not a good player, he'll play out pre-combat? Alright, no. Because if he taps out pre-combat, and then I kill this thing... He, uh... I, I won't have to worry about that card that he just draws coming out in play. Now I kind of have to worry about it. Hey, check it out, I got my own. And he's probably coming out too, actually. Maybe I should have put that extra red so I could twin bolt as well. But I do want to see what he's got. Alright, I'm not really sure what he's playing yet. Obviously, some form of is a control. But I'm not sure what his win con is yet. Is he going to try to like burn my face? What's he going to do? He's, I mean, he's a little too low on lands right now. He's definitely getting uh, mana fucked. Which is very bad news bears for him right now. Uh, yeah, that's coming out. And that's going to block your... Uh, that's going to block your little uh, dude there. Ah, uh, what do you got, man? do that now. I'm not even done yet. I'm just going into my second main, dude. Read the bones. Read the bones! Um, yeah. I, yeah. I'll just take that. What else we got? Boom. Boom. Four cards. And then we got another four cards for each of these. So that's eight cards. And then you'll get another card. Or another two cards. So, he's approaching half his deck. No excuses for not having land right now. This is ridiculous. Oh, I see. So he's doing some kind of artifact. These look like the only scary creatures I'm looking at right now. Everything else is kind of meh. I don't know what he's doing. He's going for. Th this is really the only scary creature. Uh, definitely blocking this. I'm assuming that the two damage is going to finish it off. Which is good for me, because it's two cards in the graveyard for him, and I'm saving myself two damage. And I'm drawing a card. It's like, just shit, man. I mean, I don't care that he draws a card. I, I, I theoretically should have enough control for everything he drops. You're running this? Alright, so this is 
some kind of weird artifact deck. I thought this was like a control deck, but this is weird looking. I don't like this deck at all. Dropping a Twin Bolt. I mean, it makes sense. It's not like I'm showing him that I have a bunch of creatures that are worth killing. Uh, yep. Hmm. I mean, I can still afford one of these guys. Uh, definitely going to be the Perilous Mirror. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking about. Of course, the Perilous Mirror is the play there, because I'm just not going to want to Twin Bolt anything. And I'm not going to do any damage to him. He's now more than halfway through his deck. He's going to Scry again. And I'm going to Inspiration for another two cards in his Graveyard. I don't like his deck, man. I, I, I feel like he's entirely relying on Scrapyard Mongrel to do any damage to me. Unless maybe he's got some other things that I don't notice right now. I can actually kill that. But I don't want to just yet. I'm just gonna inspiration first. What the hell is that freaking noise out there? Somebody is making some noises outside and it is freaking me the fuck out. Um. Got a few too many cards here. Got to play them out. Not sure what I want to play out. I could just do this. I'd, I'd like to Inspiration. But I don't think I can. Not like that, anyway. Alright, so I'm, I, I could have saved this for the uh, Molten Vortex, but I'm not going to. Uh, no, no. I didn't attack because he would have just blocked with the 0-3. Wow. Wow. Okay, I don't know what that noise is. I thought eventually it would end, but it is not. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Twin bolting this guy. I think I'm going to shut the window. Wow, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was some... Some of the most legitimate construction I've ever heard in my life. Wait, is he not dead? I thought I killed that guy. I did. Okay, good. Um, damn it, I should have Inspiration last turn. Well, I was up trying to stop monsters from invading my life. You know, I think at this point he's pretty hes pretty fucked up, honestly. He's going to hes gonna scry again. I, I, I'm not seeing a whole lot in his deck that's honestly... What, like this guy? Like, I don't care about him. You lose your entire hand for that guy. This is going to help me. This guy's deck is really weird. I really don't like it. It's, it's some kind of artifact. I, I, I don't even know, man. I really don't even know what the hell this is supposed to do. <clears throat> I'm going to get smacked for two here, which I honestly don't really care about. Because I'm going to make him discard a ton of shit. Oh, Chandra. Very nice. Uh, she's a little late to the party, bro. She's not flipping anytime soon, either. Boom. Boom. And you know what? A telling time on top of that, too. And not that he, do he doesn't lose cards on a telling time. Yes. And yes. There we go. And I am going to just pop that Chandra right now with you. This is over, man. Uh, this guy's just done. I'm sorry, dude. There's no fucking way you're going to get through this. Um, so I want to keep one open. That's fine.
What you got for me, son? You're getting milled, baby. It's happening, baby. It's happening. He's my first human opponent who I'm going to mill. To be fair, not the best deck in the world. Not really like it. Maybe he's just got a free-to-play of some sort. But even a free-to-play could have done a little better than this, I think. Ah, so you do have one of those. That's late to the party. If that had showed up much earlier, you'd have been a lot better off. That's why I'm thinking of putting in, like, a Disperse or something. Do I need it? Do I need to put down the Sphinx Tutelage? Um... No, I don't, actually. Well... Actually, I do. I do, because then I'll ha Oh no, I need six for that. God damn it. Hmm. Don't have quite enough. Who will? Alright. You got one turn left, buddy. Wait, what the hell am I talking about? That's retarded. I didn't even realize I could draw a card. <laughs> yep. GG, son. One, two, three, four! Oh, but you know what? I should have done that earlier because now he doesn't have to draw the card. Oh, he does have to draw a card. Oh, because of the card. Ah, ha! Stupid me. All right, GG for my opponent. Uh, had a good time. Don't know what the hell was going on with that audio and my momentous milling of a human being. Uh, I will see you guys next time.